Here on ASCE TV, we are currently joined by Dr. Daryl Pines, who is the upcoming president of the University of Maryland. Dr. Pines, thank you so much for joining us here today. Thank you for having me. So Dr. Pines, despite these challenging times, what are your top line goals for the University of Maryland as president? Well, first and foremost, I'm, I'm extremely excited about uh, being given the opportunity and afforded the opportunity to be the 34th president of the University of Maryland. Um, I've been a part of the community for like 25 years. And, um, you know, and I've built relationships over that time and gotten to know the faculty and staff and the campus community. As any president, my ultimate goal is to build an elite world-class uh, university uh, that fosters the culture of innovation, achievement, service, and excellence. It's important that we continue to create our culture of impact at the University of Maryland in the third decade of the 21st century. And I also want to use my experiences in creating more diverse faculty and student body in the engineering school to help me do that across the campus. So in about a span of two months, Greg Washington, Gilda Barabino, and yourself have moved up from deans to university presidents, which is pretty incredible. Can you speak to the importance of why engineers are so fit to be in leadership positions? So I offer, first I offer my sincere congratulations to, to, two, to the two of them and, and others who are gonna become presidents who come from the engineering background. Um, I think in this time, you know, these uncertain times where we have this incredible uh, pandemic and other crises that are around us, that uh, one of the most critical skills that an engineer has is the ability to solve problems. And as engineers, we assess solutions, identify problems, and create solutions. These are the same qualities that are required to probably be a university president. Um, people look to leadership to develop innovative and uh, creative solutions. That is the very foundation of engineering. We, we as engineers are very inquisitive um, and we work um, on the basis to solve you know, complex problems and to also communicate well and usually perform under these very high pressure situations. That's what engineers do. Um, so these are leadership skills that transfer very well um, to university presidentships. And now speaking of university presidents, can you talk about the importance of having minorities in the role of university president? Sure, I mean, I know um, as you go further and further up um, in administration, you see fewer and fewer um, diverse future, uh, people of, cult of color. Um, uh, what I do know is the American Council of Education reported that the percentage of minority college presidents have slowly increased over the last 30 years. Um, they reported that 17% of college presidents are racial minorities, which is good. African Americans make up about 8% of all of these presidents and only 5% of college presidents were women of color. Um, there's a lot of progress. We need to make an increasing representation in higher education in the administrative uh, uh, so-called C-suite of education. Um, colleges and universities serve diverse student populations, especially at public land-grant institutions like mine. Um, having minorities in the role of a university president or as vice presidents sort of creates a breadth of invaluable perspectives and experiences that lead to diverse, equitable, and inclusive campuses where everyone feels valued and has a sense of belonging. And this is what makes communities excel and work together in wonderful ways. I've seen that in my own college and I've seen that here at the University of Maryland. In my role as dean, uh, attracting and retaining a diverse pool of students and, and faculty was a key objective of mine. Um, and I will use uh, that focus and take it to the campus level um, to help both those underrepresented and underserved populations sort of gain access to our institution at every level, the undergraduate, graduate, and faculty level. Now let's speak more broadly. What do you see for the future of engineering educators? So the virtual environment will become a bigger and bigger part of what we do going forward. Uh, there'll be new ways to engage in capstone design, in laboratories, and just general instruction. Um, and the classroom um, will, may not necessarily be in a physical complex. Uh, the way I like to look at it um, going forward, even in just fall in the future, is that I think you know, at the University of Maryland, we're sort of embracing the thought of teaching and learning everywhere from anywhere, uh, which is kind of what this has brought us to. And so we're excited about the fall. We're excited about our future. Um, and I think engineering will play a strong role in it. Well, Dr. Pines, thank you so much for joining us here today on this virtual edition of ASCE TV. And congratulations again on your new appointment. All right. Thanks so much. Take care now. Thanks. Bye-bye.